By the way, is there something interesting to say about your worldview? Because you mentioned psychic and, and sort of the ways we can be healthy, the ways we can grow and how much maybe medicine or science or has um, has the answers. Is there is there some interesting way to describe that worldview? I would just say I'm, I'm open mind. I believe anything's possible. And if I was going to trust in any practical information, it would be something thousands of years old. There's wisdom in that history. Yeah. Well, it's it's more tested. It's not always right, but it's at least it's been somewhat tested. Well, science is also tested. <laughs> the the thing I'm a little bit skeptical of sometimes is just the hubris that often comes with the modern, with the, with the latest, the newest, the this this feeling like you figured it all out. Everything that's been done in the past has no wisdom, and uh, we basically solved every problem. Uh, you know, there's nothing else to be solved. This, I mean, that's the defining characteristic of any age. Is like we've solved all the problems there are. We have the final answers, and our parents are all stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kind of energy, yeah. The, and that you have to be extremely, extremely careful with that when it talks about when you think about something as complex as the human body or the human mind. You have to be very, yeah. uh, very, I, very. I believe careful. we know close to nothing. Yeah, exactly. Close to nothing. That's a, about anything. <laughs> About anything. About anything. That place of humility is a good place to start to figure to figure it all out. And in the end, we'll still know almost nothing. Yeah, I don't think we need to know. It's like we need to see what works, and we need to see what works for us. It's interesting to know. I, I know on the art side, knowing how it works isn't what makes it work. You know, isn't the magic of it isn't how it works. The magic is the magic. Right. And the magic happens in a way that's intuitive and accidental at times, or uh, inc incidental, where you're trying many things and all of a sudden something works, and um, and you don't know why. And it's okay not to know why. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter why, as long as it does the thing that you want it to do, whatever that is. Yeah, that's so weird. The, when you know the components, you don't. You still, yeah, the magic. What's the magic? Where is the magic? Like we know the components for stuff I care about, artificial intelligence. We know the components of a powerful computing machinery. But where does consciousness come from? What is, it, what is that? Yeah. Uh, where does the uh, uh, brilliant moments of insight come from? What's that? When uh, Even in simple games of chess or in simple, where do those breakthrough ideas of taking the big risk that doesn't make any sense, and then all of a sudden it becomes something beautiful. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to understand why. It just happens. It just happens. And often the things that end up breaking through don't break through in the way we thought or turn out to be a third iteration of something that we thought was an entirely different thing. Or it, We don't know. You know it's, and I, I think it's if we embrace that not knowing, we'll have a healthier experience going through life. 